just heard a little rumble of thunder now behind me. Ooh, Dale's pulling me. Go on then, go on then. Well, it's 10 to 8 at night now and uh, I'm so glad I took them when I did because it is raining now. Not as heavy as last night, but we're getting the odd quiet uh, rumble of thunder. I don't know if you can see that there. But we are getting the, the odd rumble of thunder, but no uh, no lightning as yet. But yeah, made the decision, going to move the boat tomorrow. Just uh, 10 minutes further down the cut and uh, more up at the Cheshire Cat, just for a change of scenery really. And I don't know how long I'm going to stay there, but this little trip's doing me the world of good. Uh, spending time with Chippendale and uh, giving me time to think. Not that I've got that much to think about at the moment, but... Uh, yeah, the future's daunting, but we'll see what's going to happen. But tonight I'm just chilling out with the boys, waiting for the storm, and uh, hopefully a nice early night. Take care, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, good morning. It's Thursday the 18th of June. Well, I'm saying good morning. It isn't. It's bloody awful. It hasn't stopped raining all morning. Uh, luckily, well, all morning. Luckily enough, I walked... Chippendale early on about 10 past 8 and it was just a very light drizzle so not too bad I was able to walk the dogs um, but I wouldn't be walking them in this and as you know I was looking at moving today up to the Cheshire Cat which is only about 10 minutes in that direction uh, I'm not moving anywhere in this I am definitely a fair weather boater and I'm not afraid to say so and unfortunately uh, well now I haven't got a waterproof coat on board um, so no I have got two coats, but they're not very waterproof, so I'll have to invest in one of those. But even if I was uh, dressed up like a duck, I'm not going out there today. Uh, the rain is forecast uh, till 10 o'clock tonight, by the looks of it. Um, so if it is in, I'm staying put. But if it goes uh, and it brightens up, any chance, even half an hour, will give me time to get down to the cat and uh, wind and uh, moor up. So uh, I will take the opportunity, so I'm, uh, I'm keeping an eye on the weather, uh, but I don't fancy me chances. So it might be a lazy day on Chugs and uh, the odd dash under the bridge down there uh, to walk the boys to keep uh, in the dry. All right, we'll see what happens today. Well, it's a bit later in the afternoon now, and I'm under the bridge here to keep out the rain, but it is bouncing. It just hasn't stopped bouncing. Uh, since about half eight this morning. You can see it up there, there's Chugs. Soaking. This weather's diabolical. And as I said earlier, I haven't got any waterproofs or anything, so uh, there's no way in the world I'm cruising. I'm going to have to invest in some decent waterproofs. Obviously, I will. Um, but yeah, looks like it's going to be a boring day. So the next filming will probably be tomorrow now. So, we'll see what tomorrow brings. It's Thursday afternoon, I'm just walking Chippendale now, and just by the car park here by Eggbridge, um, you can see in the background there, baked on board, the narrowboat turned up on the Thursday here, and you can get lovely pizzas and order them and everything off their Facebook page. Unfortunately, I will never ever eat a whole pizza so uh, it's a waste of a tenner for me so uh, it's such a shame though if there was uh, sound somebody with me if Sandy was with me or something um, I'd have one because it'd be nice not to cook and, and bother tonight but uh, never mind and later in the afternoon Chip always likes to catch up with his youtubers and watch Joe and Michael and of course their lovely dog George usually based on a feature nearby. During the canal's restoration, archaeologists discovered the remains of a limestone. Michael decides to haul the boat into the second chamber rather than use the engine. I'm not sure why. The staircase locks always come with instructions, so there's no need to worry if you need a reminder of how they work when you arrive. Chief Boat Supervisor George diligently supervising proceedings here. put up by the weed here. It's really very minimal, especially compared to what we found at the forest. Well, it's 7.30 at night now. Don't think the camera's picking it up, but already it's going misty. Uh, it has stopped raining. 
but uh, you can feel the damp in the mist as I'm walking. Uh, yeah, been a really lazy but very long day today. Yeah, I know uh, if I'm bored and I'm on chugs and I can't get out, I do like to watch an old war film and I've watched three over the last few days or so. Uh, if I remember and if I can find them, I'll put links in the description below. But I watched one today uh, called The Trench um, with a young uh, Matthew, uh, Daniel Craig in it, who is, of course, the James, the present James Bond. Uh, but that was a good movie. I really enjoyed it. Very deep, uh, but a very good film. So uh, if you do get a chance to watch it, please do. I did enjoy it. So uh, it passes away the hours when you're sitting on the boat and you can't really do anything else. Um, I may try drawing, but uh, tomorrow I'm going to try and edit this particular vlog that, uh, that you're watching. It'll probably be in two parts though, I would have thought, this vlog, as uh, it'll bore you to tears. It'll be too long. So, uh, yeah, going to go back to Chugs now. Took ourselves in. I just put the heating on before I left the boat, as it has got a lot cooler, so as uh, the dogs can dry off a bit. So can I. And... Uh, Probably have an early night. Well, 10 to 10 on Friday the 19th. I've already walked Chippendale. They've had their nice walk. Uh, I've had my breakfast. Beautiful bacon and cheese uh, toasted sandwich. That was gorgeous. Uh, I'm on my third coffee. No, fourth coffee. So I've got a coffee down, down there. Um, and I've done a load of washing. Um, I've had a, quite a productive morning. So I've uh, got a load of washing done. And uh, there's all my smalls drying up there, so uh, yeah, no more commando for me. Um, and uh, I'm going to go cruising towards that way, uh, through Christleton, and I'm going to go to the water point, um, as I'm going to go and have a shower shortly. As soon as I put this uh, camera down, uh, I'm going to have a nice hot shower, because I've had the engine running, and then I'm going to go and top my water up. I had every intention of cruising back to Tattenhall Marina today, to spend the night there and then uh, do the washing there and everything and then come back but I had a bad night's sleep last night I was awake for a few hours in the middle of the night so I'm I'm tired and I don't feel in the mood to cruise really so uh, a quick ride to Christleton top the water up and then I have to reverse to the winding hole uh, turn chugs around and head back this way Still undecided, don't know whether to moor up at the Cheshire Cat for the night just to have a change of scenery or moor up down uh, that way um, where Steve's actually moored up as the pizza boat is moving today, heading off towards Beeston for, for its, its business tonight. So I could moor up there and that's handy for Amy to come on Father's Day on Sunday. So I think that's what I'm going to do. The loo's fine. Um, I just need to top up water and probably the water will be fine. It's just that I'm silly and as I'm going down to the windy hole, I might as well just top it up. So that's my day as it's planned. It's only just stopped raining. It's been raining. Oh no, it hasn't stopped. I'm lying. It's, um, yeah, it's still raining. It's not heavy. So I'm hoping after my shower that would have lifted and I can get going. So, uh, right, we'll have a look. Let's see what happens. Wow, do I feel better. Nice long shower because I didn't really have to worry about uh, the water running out. So I'm going to top it up anyway. So I had a really nice long shower. I feel great. Feel a million dollars. Go on, say it. All green and crinkly. Oh, there's a dog outside and they've been spotted. Well, it is nice now, so I think I'll head down the cat. Uh, we'll just pass the Cheshire Cat actually uh, to the water point and uh, go and top my water up. Seems silly just going back to the marina when I've already done a wash. Just seems a, a waste of fuel. And as I said, didn't sleep too good last night, so uh, what's the point of cruising when I don't really want to? Well, I've, uh, I've cruised down to the water point. There's a boat already on there. And the weather's shocking. It's raining again. So uh, just got a bit of refuge under the bridge, keeping myself out of the way. And then uh, I'll get myself wet and the boat wet when they've moved. Well, still hid under the bridge, wind's getting up. I've got to reverse back up there in a minute, but 
not really too worried just uh, hiding under the bridge still but uh, I think they're nearly done but I'll wait here until this rain stops anyway yeah so that's it I'm moored up I'm hiding under trees at the moment because it's still uh, it's still raining that's the story of my little getaway but uh, yeah fueling chugs up well not fueling chugs up we've got water uh, going in and then we've got a nice little reverse back up the cut I didn't film any uh, any of the trip coming up as uh, it was bouncing with rain to be honest for most of it so I didn't bother <sighs> back to Waverton I think I'm not gonna sit at the cat I might as well uh, just get back to Waverton and uh, wait for Amy Good morning, 20 past 8 on Saturday the 20th of June, it's uh, at least, well it's not raining, uh, so that's one promising thing. Uh, I had a message last night off Amy and uh, she's coming down today rather than Father's Day tomorrow. <clears throat> she's obviously got to go and see uh, Matt's dad as well tomorrow and of course it's Matt's second Father's Day so I did suggest to her why don't you come down today, uh, Saturday, oh hello boys. Uh, why don't you come down today and uh, the weather's going to be better today as well and then you can go undo whatever you want to do with Matt on Father's Day. Make it his special day. So yes, well, another day. I'm feeling remarkably good this morning. I've had a good swill, trimmed my beard and uh, yeah, feeling positive. Um, it's another morning and uh, I'm actually looking forward to the day. Yes, so just walking the boys. Uh, yes, Amy's coming down today and also my friend Graham. Uh, Graham Sherwood, you'll be remember uh, when we went to the Anderton boat lift, uh, we ran down there. He's a subscriber, but we ran down there with him and his good lady Bev to do the Anderton boat lift. Uh, so he's having a ride on his uh, Honda Goldwing and coming to say hello uh, this morning. So I'm looking forward to saying hello to him and, uh, and meeting him. It's been a while. So uh, that'll be nice. Brighten my day up. I'll catch your eyes, your eyes. You will take care, Thank Graham. You. Drive steady. been a good day just wrapping up the day really didn't do a lot of filming at all today but uh, Amy and Matt came with uh, my grandson little George and as you just saw Graham leaving Graham came bless him bought me two lovely bottles of uh, Merlot he knows I like a little bit of Merlot and it's also made me a lovely lemon cake a lemon drizzle cake and uh, that was delicious as well so it's been a very special day I've really enjoyed it Chugs is in good company as well you can see Steve there uh, with Amy Joe. But it's uh, been a lazy day, a nice sunny day, uh, and I've really enjoyed it. Uh, and we've got a plan for next week, so I'm looking forward to that. 20 past nine on the 21st of June, and it's Father's Day. Uh, don't look at my nose. I got sunburnt the other day, and I've woke up this morning, and it's an hell of a mess. It's peeled and crisped. Um, don't ask. So I've just walked the boys, and uh, yeah, Amy yesterday dropped me off some lovely presents. She dropped me off some real ales, a lovely box full of real ales, which I'm going to sample a bit later. And this lovely little tray, which uh, sits nicely on the arm of my little couch so I can put my drink on there and watch the telly at night. So really pleased. And of course, uh, some lovely cards, one of little George as well. So that's nice. So uh, I've also spoke to her this morning, uh, which was nice. Um, so, yeah, it's Father's Day. 
Um, also, I forgot to mention that yesterday when Graham came, he did actually bake me a beautiful lemon drizzle cake. Absolutely gorgeous. So I had some uh, with Graham yesterday and I had a piece last night after my tea. Very nice. And uh, no doubt there won't be a lot left of that by the end of today. Um, plans. Well, I have got some friends that are at the moment moored up outside Tatton Hall Marina. So today being Sunday, I've got plans to perhaps cruise back to just outside the marina for today. Uh, say, say hello to them and uh, have the night with them. And then tomorrow, go back into the marina um, where I can get the boat all sorted, uh, get rid of the rubbish, top the water up, empty the loose, everything else, the normal stuff. Um, but I can iron my clothes uh, with using the Landline Electric as uh, at the moment I've got a one of these big steam irons with a separate water thing. I love it um, But I might as well use the marina electric. Well my electric uh, than, than use the boat. So that's the, the general idea go back there empty the loose and everything and then on Tuesday morning uh, I'm gonna put some more fuel in uh, chugs and then head back to where I am now where I'm meeting uh, Steve on Amy Joe, and we're going on a little bit of an adventure and more will, will be revealed uh, when that day comes um, let's hope the adventure uh, goes to plan uh, might be a little bit emotional because it was a trip that uh, Sandy and I were planning to do but obviously I'm going to be doing it on my own and as far as I'm on chugs I want to to, to do this um, so long as I've got her uh, it's something I want to do all be revealed anyway. So that's the plan for today, perhaps. Going down, back down the Shropshire Union. I won't do that much filming because it's waters that you've seen so much. But uh, I will do a little bit of the cruise as I know that you like it. So let's get going. Well, it's still a little bit breezy this morning, but the sun is going to come out. I've really enjoyed um, my time on this mooring. Uh, nice walks for the dogs. Plenty of things to see and do. Nice scenery. Lots of lovely things to see. It's been really, really nice and I've enjoyed Steve's company and everybody else that stopped to say hello to me as well since I've been moored here. But gonna head back to the towards the marina now and uh, yeah, let's hope it's a steady cruise. So, just getting on my way and it's 10 past 10. There's Steve, he's just gonna pull his boat forward a little bit as he's uh, on a bit of an awkward moor in there. Thanks for your company. See you Tuesday. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Take care. Will do. We'll see you in a few days. Enjoy your Sunday dinner. Yeah. I'll devour me pasty. <laughs> see you later. See you later. I have enjoyed myself on that mooring. It's been a good mooring. Uh, yeah. Beautiful day. Of course, got Chippendale down there. No tails there. There's Chip. No Chip's on patrol. Yeah, I'm sure I've said many a time before as we as I cruise past these houses, it's very rare you actually see anyone in the gardens. Strange. I'm sure they use them because they're all beautiful and they're all equipped with patio furniture and places to enjoy a nice drink and cook food. But no, never see anyone. Heading out of Waverton now. Be back again on Tuesday if all goes to plan. where the CRT store their stop planks to put across under the bridge if they ever want to pump out some of the uh, the canal they stop the water Oh, 
how I hope I'm wrong, but I'm sure I just felt a spot of rain. Looking at the forecast, it wasn't forecast. So uh, looking at the clouds, I don't think it's going to be much, although there is a bit of a black one ahead of us. But uh, I've got my coat and the brolly's just inside the bedroom, so uh, who cares? Doesn't matter. No, doesn't matter. But then I did decide it did matter, so I quickly ran into the bedroom and got my brolly. It's that cloud there, it just seems to be growing. The further I go, the darker it gets. I don't fancy getting wet really, not this morning. Not, not any morning, to be honest. That's just my bow thruster. If you haven't used it for about 20 minutes, it just turns itself off automatically, in case you forget. That's it, I've got me brolly up. It's starting to bounce down. I've literally just got the boys thrown their bed into the bedroom and, uh, just a minute, and uh, ushered them into the boat because it's suddenly coming down like the clappers. Oops, and I've got a boat coming. Well, the rain finally stopped. The dog bed is in the bedroom, on the floor. I'm going and get that just yet. The dogs are back out, Chip and Dale are here with me. Wondering where their bed's gone. Sorry boys, I don't want your bed to get wet. Well, I did briefly just stop the boat for a minute, just so I could run in the bedroom and get the dogs' beds. I had to get their beds, bless them. Uh, who can resist two two hours sitting there shivering, looking at you? So uh, went back in the boat and uh, I've got their bed. Well, we're just coming into the 40 minutes worth of uh, moored boats, the Golden Nook, or Nook Farm, or whatever you want to call it. So uh, no point in me recording all this, so uh, I'll catch you when I'm all moored up, just outside Tattenhall Marina. Catch you later, folks. That's it, I'm moored up virtually outside the marina. Uh, used to love this particular spot and I want to learn to love it again. I used to spend ages on that little bench down there uh, by Bridge 113. I used to walk out the marina with Chippendale and sit there for quite a bit. It was beautiful, but yeah, I moored up here for three weeks and I haven't really got very good memories of it. That three weeks I didn't enjoy and then we went back in the marina and that's when Sandy actually left the boat. But it's an area I want to learn to love again. It's so handy just to come out of the marina and moor up here and gather your thoughts and get out of the marina life. Not that I'm knocking the marina or the life but uh, I'd rather be out here, see boats going past and see people going past. So that was my Waverton trip. Um, a much more exciting one, hopefully next week. Exciting for me, might bore the pants off you lot, but uh, I'm gonna take you along anyway. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed my little trip to Waverton with me, the boys and Chugs. I've enjoyed it. It's certainly done me the world of good. And uh, I'll certainly get another vlog out to you as soon as I can. So until next time, I'll catch you on Chuggabug.